Hello everyone, welcome back to Chai Together. It is just me today. Um, this is Pratiba Day, your founder and creator of Chai. Today's Chai is just going to be spiritual. I don't actually have Chai with me today. So today I want to go back to what paranoid schizophrenia is regarding the inspiration for this channel is my mom. Paranoid schizophrenia is when a person can't think, feel, or behave um, in normalcy. They don't have the ability to do so. So I would like to discuss feel with you today. How a person with paranoid schizophrenia feels. Um, now just an update. I am not 100% certain regarding my mom's diagnosis. Being paranoid schizophrenia, she does need a reevaluation. So feel free to do your own research. Um, I am not a clinician or a doctor or anything of that sort to a degree level. So I wanna use some examples today to describe paranoid schizophrenia and feeling. If you've ever been, if you ever felt numb, um, I would like to use the example of me sitting outside here today. It's cold for me, for my own body, for my own temperature, perhaps not for you, but for me it is, and that's meaningful. Now, I don't like it, and I've already thought in my mind that I don't like it, and I've already perceived that, so I'm making it uncomfortable for myself already. Therefore, just imagine someone being stuck in something they don't like for a numerous amount of time. For my mom, it would be years her whole life and for many other people as well and you're just living in this space not able to mold your mind around a different perception or how to get out of that and another example of numbness i would like to use is um, being detached from your own body spiritually you're here but you're not present um, it's just flesh it's like, are you really there? If someone's poking you, are you really there? Um, if you ever felt numbness from heartbreak, mm, if you ever felt numbness from heartbreak, um, it, there's pain and then there's the numbness. And you don't know if you're ever going to get out of it, but you know you're going to get over it. When someone has a mental illness, they feel this hopeless, hopelessness that they're never going to get out of it if they're not um, seeking and finding the right help. And as time goes on, such as my mom recently, she's feeling this hopelessness. Um, right now she was taking deep breaths and I'm, I'm like, are you doing yoga? Are you doing meditation? No, um, she just is building up to having to panicking and hyperventilating as if um, there's something wrong with her when nothing's wrong. You're creating that environment for yourself. And that is the illness in itself. And I would like to say that um, when you go to the dentist and they give you the numbing gel. Now imagine being day in, day out, 24-7 with the numbing gel in your mouth every day. And you can no longer taste the food, feel the food. Your taste buds aren't able to grasp onto that the concept of food and also as we grow older as you age your taste buds change and you're not able to um, have that flavor of food the same way you used to when you were younger so just imagine being in a place a space that you're not fond of and you're just there and it's it's like a hell it's like a hell um i believe when i was younger there's the Devante dante's um something regarding Dante for school a book that we um, looked at where these certain people were in hell and mental illness can be deemed as a hell in itself so please email try together please email this channel um, it will come directly to me if you or anyone you know who has an experience such as this spiritually where um, you know they're not well i would love to hear um and i would love to hear what you have to say and provide any feedback if i can um i would also like to say that it's also equivalent to being a vegetable another example of the numbness and the feeling um, such as when people who are in the hospital and they're paralyzed people say they're vegetables you're here but we don't know if they can hear us at times so 
it's really important because when my grandfather was passing away, um, he was physically there. However, the doctors could not tell us if he's able to hear us or um, feel us or know who's around him. And if you have um, believe in higher power or you're spiritually in tune, um, you would believe so that the person is able to hear you and um, they know that you're there, there for them. So you have the good karma and um, yeah. So with that being said, um, you know, at this time I really just pray for my mom and um, I hope that she's able to come to a point where she's able to hurdle, go over that hurdle um, of her own thought process that's holding her back. It really is it's the power in words. I'm a firm believer. It's the power in your words. Um, you can choose the positive aspect or the negative aspect. Um, it's really the power of your words. And she tends to, um, even unknowingly, what you say is coming to life. So her truth is coming to life. And she tends to stay in this cycle, which is very circular and very emotional. Um, and it's really sad to look at her now it's just a sad view and i'm doing the best i can to ma uh, to balance our lives and to manage and i do pretty well um so at this point i would really just like to say a message regarding suicide awareness um september 6th to september 12th was suicide awareness week however um, our prior guest, Kawan Glover, and I believe that suicide awareness is something that needs to be focused on every day. Um, I've been there before having the suicide ideations when I was younger. And um, it's even if you have that single thought, you should get help because that thought will develop into another level. There's levels to suicide. And before it develops to the other level, you really want to nip it in the bud. And it's nothing to be ashamed about. Now mental health is more aware and it's not, it's less of a stigma. Because I remember growing up, mental health was um, not something that we were educated about. And even in school psychology, the major of school psychology and dealing with children, that major did not have mental health as an aspect so it's really 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 important to have the information out there and to have the suicide hotline number out there which i will list below as well and make it about the month make it about the year make it about the lifetime um, it's really something that people need help with and even if it's your closest friend your mom your dad anybody your loved one um, anybody um, they need the help and they won't say it you can always look out for those signs and another video will be coming um, regarding suicide awareness in this video i just wanted to tackle the aspect of feelings for paranoid schizophrenia and i just want to leave with saying with this that you can only uproot what you know you don't know what you don't know and so the next video we're going to tackle behavior and I hope to see everyone there. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support for Chai Together. Our website is coming soon. Um, there's going to be speaking engagements. There's going to be more awareness and I'm doing my best and I need your help to get the word out there about Chai Together. I love having new guests who can educate us, um, bring new knowledge to the table and even reiterate the importance of mental health awareness. And I need your support. I cannot do this by myself to the scale that I can with a group of people. Um, Chai Together is global and I am more than willing to put my everything into this. This is my dream. This is my vision. And with or without anyone, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep walking and I will never give up. And I hope you never give up on your life or anybody else that you need you know that who needs help and i just hope that you hold on to their hand because if it wasn't for me i don't know if my mom would have that hand to hold on to so really from the bottom of my heart i really wish everyone well and 
just please, please take the time to call that suicide hotline number if you really need to. It won't hurt. It's anonymous. No one will find out. Um, no one's going to hurt you if you do it. I promise you. And take that step to doing so. And that step could lead you to a whole new life that's positive for you. So take that step. I love you guys. Thank you.